uh, what those words really mean uh, before I move forward to what we're doing. Uh, for the last 200 years, since the time Thomas Cook invented this industry, you know, by setting up tours, not much has changed except for the advent of the online. But what has really changed is the travelers are becoming smarter and smarter by the minute as they travel. To, so trying to cope up with what every traveler wants is the new challenge. And how do you deal with that new challenge? Is, and how do you shape the whole industry to align to these billion people who are traveling every year is what I'm going to talk about today. Right? Just to give you a brief background on Trip Factory and then we move forward. So what are we set out for? We are set out to build the world's largest vacation company over the next three years. We've been working on this very silently for over a decade now. So it is not something where we are trying to beat our chest. There is no chest thumping. We'll show you how we are doing it. So what is our mission? Our mission is to become the largest vacation store. What does that mean? It basically means a very simple thing. We all know that we are part of a knowledge industry. If I was to say what is tourism industry? It is knowledge industry at one level. The reason very few companies or not even a single company in the world is selling the entire world is because they don't have the capacity to manage the knowledge of the entire world. And our mission is like Google Maps, you can go and turn on maps anywhere in the world and it guides you to a solution. There's nothing in tourism that was allowing us to do that. So that is the step one. The second is make this available to every travel advisor in the world so that like Google Maps is available to all of you to navigate the world. The idea of Trip Factory is to create the system to basically allow every advisor to say, hey, I want to go to Spain for a week, no problem. I want to go to Barcelona for a week, no problem. I want to see Malaysia for two weeks, no problem. The no problem is because you have the power of the largest vacation store in your hand. So it is like push a few buttons and you can send someone anywhere in the world. That is what was missing in the tourism industry. The third thing is basically when you travel across the world, you, are, you and all people want to stay with the brand. They want to say, I want to stay at the Marriott. I want to stay at the higher. Why? Because they don't want to surprise in their experience when they travel elsewhere. Today, the entire logistic infrastructure of the entire world is broken. You go to one place, there's one kind of handling. You go to another place, there's another kind of handling. So what we're really trying to do is to do three simple things. Is put the knowledge of the entire world in a box so you don't have to carry it here. Your staff doesn't have to carry it. You don't have to hire a specialized staff. The second thing is, we put the whole supply chain together globally so that you have the finest rates and availability in seconds. And the third thing is, we also control the end experience on the ground, which I will show you, uh, which is again available to each and every one of you. And we will show you in the next few minutes. Here is what people like ANK are talking about us, people who have been in the industry uh, for so long. Uh, Brett was the CIO of ANK for nine years, and Abercrombie and Kent is a global brand. And Nexus is our platform, and here is what they have to say that this is the future of this game. And you will be able to see why people are making those statements. This is the team that is working across six continents today to help put this together. And uh, uh, working tirelessly. So we are a company which never sleeps. By the time our guys in India try to sleep and New Zealand are sleep, uh, sleep, the guys in South America wake up, the guys in Europe and US wake up. So we are a company which is working 24-7 and probably one of the few companies in the world which is operating 24 seven to make sure every traveler, every trip is operating as it's supposed to be. 
Let me give you a quick background on who am I. I'm a software engineer, a computer science graduate. And in the year 2006, I came into travel business. I used to be in the Wall Street in New York. Nothing to do with travel. I was a finance and technology guy. And when we came in in 2006 in India, we created one of the largest businesses globally called Via.com where we not only changed the way travel was sold, but we changed the way every company in future had to operate in that way. So we invented the business model of B2B travel portal distribution in the world. And now you can see hundreds of brands across the world. And what did we do? We basically went and empowered people to sell travel. We did not try to get into the way of people who were already selling travel. We empowered them and the outcome was that we sold over $10 billion of travel in a matter of three to four years. We created a company, in fact we have created more than seven to eight companies in the last decade globally because of our philosophy of how we operate. Uh, we can move to the next one. Not only the business model we created worked in travel, but some of the largest global business houses have no choice but to adopt the same model in non-travel when they're distributing e-commerce and uh, other products. So what is the today that we are uh, building, right? And what we built yesterday is globally copied by the Expedias of the world. In fact, Expedia hired our guy to run and start their B2B business right in Singapore. So, so what is it that we're building today is going to be the tomorrow of this industry. And I'm not here to tell you how good we are, but I'm trying to tell you how good we all can be tomorrow in a very simple way. What is our philosophy which allows us to create these great infrastructure companies? Is we believe we are on this planet for a very small time. We are not here to be great. We are here to just contribute and move on. So what does that allow us to do? So this allows us to focus on what is important, no matter what the hurdles are because the important is so important to make it happen that we devote our energies and we've spent a decade building what we are going to show you today to tell you that why our lives have to go into the contribution to society it is not about i am cool it is about everybody has to go home and look like a leader when they go to their families and we want to create that infrastructure so that each one of you is growing like hell without much effort. So let me show you what is the tomorrow we are building, right? And before we do that, I want to highlight what are we doing, right? And uh, because we are engineers, we can find fault in every nice looking bridge. So we saw a few things which were missing in the tourism industry, right? And to show you that, I want to take you to the next slide. You know, Thomas Cook UK failed after 200 years, right? They went bust. And why did they go bust? They went bust be not because they didn't have resources, they didn't have money, they didn't have technology, they didn't have people. It is because they were an ocean of people trying to serve people. And as these people left, the organization became uh, people heavy, the cost structure started growing and still they were not able to serve. And we then went and spent 18 months, almost me and my co-founder Amit, we, we, we spent almost $200,000 traveling the world trying to understand why the hell a company and a brand of the stature of Thomas Cook fell. And you know what is the answer we found? We found the answer is, so I have written these three words. Shimla is a hill station in North India, Singapore, and then gone missing. So a traveler would come to Thomas Cook, they would go 
to Shimla. The traveler who went to Shimla is not the same traveler who came back from Shimla. He was an evolved traveler. The traveler then took an international trip to Singapore. Oh, this is how I get my visa. This is how I get my this. This is how. So the traveler who went to Singapore is not the same guy who came back. And now when he's an evolved traveler and when he goes back to the same company and says, I want this, they can't deliver. And so they are a leaking bucket where customers come in and they keep going up. And that's why they fell down. So the idea was very simple. It was very clear that if you want to keep up the pace with information, you know how fast Instagram videos are going, Facebook videos are going, I saw this, can you give me this trip? How would you do that? You can't do that by hiring and training alone. You do that because you have some power with you where you can say, here is what you need and here is what I give you now. And then don't worry about how the trip is going to go. It should just work fine. So the problem today is that, you know, somebody walks in and says, you know, I want to go there. And that's where the problem starts. Emails, phone calls, I don't know, why don't you take this? We are not able to serve the problem because our advisors do not have the knowledge. Think of an advisor sitting in your office which has the knowledge of the entire world. Think of that advisor sitting on your phone. Think of somebody says, I want a trip to Machu Picchu. No problem, two minutes. How's the trip going? Great. What's happening with my customer now? Let's see. Everything in real time you know, even when your customers are poor or when they're coming here. So we figured that what's broken in the tourism industry is the knowledge infrastructure, the supply chain infrastructure, and the consistent delivery infrastructure. And that's what we saw is broken. And we felt it's worth fixing it. And we've been solving this problem since 2013. And it's almost 10 years now uh, that we've been it. But we knew that if we do that, we will empower 100,000 people to take away from the online the real expertise gain. Today, you know, there is a question of online is becoming strong. I will tell you, online does not have even 15% of the global tourism market. I will give you the stats for it. The global tourism market is 2,000 billion, it's $2 trillion. All the online companies put together are hardly $300 billion in sales. 1,700 billion dollars is untapped industry, which is us. All of us. Don't worry about them. They are nice. Because what a consumer needs, they can't deliver. They can tell you these are the 500 hotels in Spain, but they cannot give you a Spain trip. You understand? So a little uh, playback, flashback for how I saw India. You know, we used to have these ration card shops, and I stood in one of those lines myself. And they used to sell subsidized food, right? And where is the India today? This is where the India is today. This is the queue outside the embassies today, right? The leapfrogging that has happened is such that a billion people out of which four, five hundred million people who can afford to travel are going to be sitting with passports. The opportunity is huge. Don't even worry about how big you can get. That is up to your imagination. These guys are standing in the queue. Why is this queue not outside your office is the question you need to answer. And we'll answer that together. So this is what I was showing you is the gap of where is online and where is it that we can go and play in this entire industry. So, I mean, we can pass this. So, so what is it that you guys need uh, to succeed? You need to be able to just say yes, give him a great price, and he comes back happy. And the circle goes on. And you decide how much you want. We've built the technology infrastructure. Somebody in the audience yesterday was asking is, how do we afford technology? All these platforms that we have built are completely free of cost. They are yours, as much as they are mine. 
right? And you can use each one of them. You can create world-class websites, mailing platforms, and everything. And you will show you how it is simple for any one of you to own a world-class tourism website under two minutes. We will demonstrate you right now. So, what do we do from here if we have all this power? Is to imagine. Simple. Imagine. How big do you want to be? Because now you have the power of all the knowledge. You have technology. You can acquire customers. You can serve them instantly. You don't have to waste time. In two, three, five minutes, we're done with it. Then what is it that is left? We also have a program where we will also fund even resources, employees for all of you. We would fund technology and we will partner to create the largest tourism ecosystem in the world. And I will share more what we're doing in terms of raising financial resources for it to support as well as what we have in terms of technology. So we'll walk you into a demo. I will shut up now and uh, we will uh, see what we have. So I will just stay on here and scroll down. So when we say Nexus, uh, the platform, the reason we kept the name Nexus is about powerful connections. It's like we will spend the energies to build the most powerful connections with the finest suppliers, with the finest guys in the world so that you can focus on what matters. Can you scroll down? Here is what the world is talking about us. Is it has the real potential to transform the travel industry forever. Go down. I, I hope you've heard about this company called Virtuoso. They're the finest luxury network in the world. Chris is a co-founder. And here's what Christy has to say about it. It recreates the industry. And we will show you why these people are saying so. This is what travel agents around the world are talking about us. Today we are operating in six continents and doing business every day. This is what we see. And uh, uh, we'll jump into the demo quickly. So what have we done, right? Before you get confused with the technologies, we've said, tell us what you want and the platform will lead you to the solution. As simple as that. It's like Google Maps. If you know where you're going, they'll show you how to get there. What we've done is, you know, there is something interesting about this form that you see is this is the power that you need to basically say yes to anybody and everybody in the world. <laughs> so let's do a small Europe trip quickly and show you that within seconds, how do you get to your answers? How do we basically put it together? How do we operate it? And what is it that we do with it? So what have we done is, you said that these are the places you want to visit. We've brought you to a solution where you can design depending on who's the customer, what is it that you want to give them and give them now. Here is the arrival in Paris. You get to choose your hotel that you want to stay. What is it that you want to do? And the biggest thing we have done in this is you cannot make a wrong trip. The platform will not allow you to put the arm in the, your mouth. You know, it will say that your teeth need to be in your mouth and it will allow you to just have that, you know. And then depending on who's traveling, uh, the platform will basically give you that. So you can customize the trip to the T. You don't have to worry about what type of customers. It knows that if there is a train that needs to connect or a ferry that needs to connect, whatever it is, 
it knows it all. You don't need to worry about, you know, if I have to connect from uh, to Lisbon, how will I connect? It will show you if there is a bus to connect, if there is a train or if there's a flight. Then you can basically go and put together uh, the name of the guest. You can put in your markups. And let's go down to see a complete trip come together in no time. And if any one of you wants to give your email, it'll be in your mailbox in 10 seconds. And we'll also tell you if you have seen that right here. Everybody would know. So it also has the process of tracking that entire sale so that you sitting anywhere knows what is happening with every request that came to you and every response that went out there. Now what we also do is it produces a beautiful video So most customers want to see what is their trip and it will come with your branding. There's some music in it. I'm going to blow that up. So what this is doing is basically you don't even need to tell the traveler what's what is it that you're getting. You can see it. Simple. You don't need to describe in any level of detail. If we had to market Malaysia, if we had to market Sarawak tourism, people need to be able to see that in two minutes. Where am I going? What am I going to get? And how do I get there? So the idea is very simple that when you can put a trip together in a few minutes, they can see, and let me show you how we go and deliver this trip on the ground. We track all our trips that are happening globally through the platform. So you can basically see that when are our customers available in different geographies, I mean this one, And we can track our drivers on the ground. So if one of your customers was traveling and you want to know where they are, how they're doing, you can just see it on your computer right here in front of you. Pull out your phone and see what's happening to your customer anywhere across the globe. And the last thing is what if the customer, when he's traveling, needs support? We run the most finest concierge ever designed on the planet, better than an Amex Black. And again, uh, some of you uh, who will be able to see the entire customer base of who's traveling with us is on my phone. And I can actually tap into any one of them to basically see what's happening with them here and now. So technically what we're doing is we've given you the entire world in a box where you can price what you want to do, you can give people, and this is what the online companies will never be able to do. They are inventory selling machines, copying each other's model for the last 25 years. And you don't need to worry about any one of them because after the age of 40, people want to see the world, they want to experience the world. They're not looking for cheap, cheap stuff. So the poor ears of the customers when people don't have the money, they go to the OTS. But when people have the money, they want to experience the world. And that customer is choosing, he is evolving consistently. Are you evolving with him? Is That is what Nexus is. When you become part of that Nexus, you, when you become another powerful connection, that is what happened to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I will just spend one or two minutes on uh, uh, one or two slides that I want to show you. And then, uh, I will just go down. So we recently also here raised about $225 million. And we are looking to raise about a billion dollars over the next 
24 months we have commitment from the same investors and what basically that means is first time there is a company which is trying to invest in the industry and not in trying to grow and take away the customer from the industry and that has never happened in the industry history of tourism my friends for the last 200 years no matter which company came they were just trying to toot their horn to try to basically go and take away market share we want to bring all that market share to keep raising capital and bring that might to all of you and here is what i want to leave for all of you which i believe is uh, a very important thing to remember the philosophy we are here on this planet for a very small time don't try to be somebody try to contribute and move on thank you ladies and gentlemen Thank you, Mr. Vinay Gupta, for the keynote address.